So guys, Conference League, something we've never experienced before. And uh, we entertain Ghent, not Genk, Ghent at Stamford Bridge Thursday night. And, you know, we're obviously going to make a lot of changes, let's be honest. There are players that have already been admitted from the squad. Have you noticed how things have changed, guys? How the hate is slowly starting to go away. But, of course, you get bitterness, don't you? There are little twisted words like, well, we'll have to see, see how you get on. But the most important factor here, guys, is we just continue and we carry on in our own quiet little way. It's really important, the momentum at the moment. So we need to win and we need to win big. And I think we will. I think we'll win by at least three goals. Our B-side's good enough to get a result. Uh, Genk, funny enough, the team that we um, uh, bought KDB from are uh, currently sitting top of the Belgium League right now and Ghent, who we play on Thursday, are third. So I guess you can't take teams lightly in any competition, but we should win, let's be honest. And let's hope we're going to see some more balloons blown up by Christopher and Cuckoo, who I suspect will play on, on Thursday and carry on in his uh, good vein of form up front with the ball at his feet. Hitting that back of the net. What we need, of course, is Stamford Bridge to be electric. Regardless of the opposition and regardless of the competition, you know, we have to make Stamford Bridge become a fortress. And that means that both have to play their part, the players and the supporters. Well, the players are certainly doing that right now. They're all playing over and above our expectations, let's be honest. And we have got a very good side, you know. And I'm really warming to our coach right now, I really am. So everything seems good. Everything seems happy. We have to, as I said before, stop the negativity, stop all the poisonous comments and it's all about being positive and as I've always said manifestation only happens if you act as though you've already achieved and that's the difference guys and that's the thing which I'm not so sure that I actually explained although nearly 900,000 people watched that video on CFC Fans TV which I think was probably more about my thoughts on Rory Jennings but the point I was trying to make, the bigger picture, is that back in the day, we used to turn up Stamford Bridge every game, basically, and expect to win. We all used to have that mindset, we're going to win. Never really felt like we was ever in danger of not getting three points. Look at that home record that we have. No one's ever going to beat that. I really don't think no one is ever going to beat that. As good as Manchester City are, they've never even got anywhere near it. You know, and that's the difference, guys. We used to turn up as supporters and expect to win. Expect to win trophies, expect to win cups, 25 trophies, 25 years, knocking on the door all the time. And that's because our mindset was in the right way. And that is what the law of attraction is and the secret and the law of the universe. You have to act as though you've already achieved and you have to be very, very clear in what you want as a person and as a collective. We all need to be on the same page. Singing off the same hymn sheet, guys, because that's what it's all about. So we need to put aside differences. We need to put aside our thoughts about what's gone on over the last two years. I mean, a lot of it's wrong, let's be honest, guys. A lot of it's not been great if we were told what was going to be happening before when we were even bought. I don't think any of us would have been any would have been happy with it, but the point is this: we are where we are right now, and those players, those young players, are of high, high quality, and it's incredible, isn't it? How everyone's talking about us now, you know, with all these plaudits. Well, we know who you are. We remember how you were, and you showed us no mercy. Yeah, when the government was fucking tearing our football club to pieces you rebelled in it you were happy about it and I've got to tell you and I'm going to say this right now because Arsenal have nearly gone was it 21 22 seasons without winning the league and I watched them last night and they were very good very impressive I think this is their one shot you know I really do think that this season I think this is their shot and if they don't do it I think we're coming afterwards if they do do it 
maybe it's deja vu, maybe it's 2004 all over again, where Arsenal win the league, and then you have the rise and rise and rise of Chelsea. Much love, guys, and um, I'll speak to you soon. I'll see you at Stamford Bridge on Thursday. If you see me, come and say hello, and um, up at Chelsea.